Yo, this guy is absolutely nuts. This man's out here with nothing on but pants. Miserably icy winds to reach the desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. God, this guy is literally... This guy literally is out here. Dude, this man's crazy. Let's get with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Will Kuhn, right? Of the Galaxy Team. Answer me this. Would you, on what grounds do you come here seeking to... On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? That's a good question. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? And I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? Hey, top man, how you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalok, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. So please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalok's causing no trouble. But aren't you also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are... There's certainly some logic to that, but if that is what you hope to accomplish, then... You must judge whether this child's up to the task. Who cares about the ground standing? Let's go to battling. Uh oh. Um. Well, maybe going Pokemon hunting before this isn't too much of a good idea. This man is literally squatting on me. He's literally, he is premature teabagging me before the battle starts. What the hell? This man is teabagging me before the match starts. Or after this, I gotta go pee, you guys. I drank three water bottles plus the one hydrate time. Where I just. Oh, wait, there's two of them. Um. Okay. Why? So how come? Okay, good. How come um, Rock Slide ain't moved to hit adjacent Pokemon? You would think that if literally if uh like if it was I, I guess it's different, but like I don't know. Rock, you're literally throwing rocks. It should at least have like some impact to adjacent Pokemon. Maybe it's just the old school in me that just can't get that out of my head. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smash me through and through. I suppose you could get on with it now. This one's all right. So may, some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Will Koo, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalok's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. For that you'll have to be able to fly which means you need bravery long story short you've got to seek out a young lady named savvy tell the long story long you're not saving any time and wasted puzzling out what you mean isn't avalok one of the pearl clan's lords seems a bit odd for me to do the talking but fine listen up the eternal eye stuff can be found atop avalok's legacy here but to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb the surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with bravery's help. So you tell me Sneasler had these long ass claws and it can't get in, penetrate the ice. What? But he can penetrate the rocks on mountains. Once managed to climb nearly the t to the top of Avalox Lake, you see, I'll have you know. He says he made it within six feet of the top. Might make right for at least height. And uh, about Savi, how do I put this? Even she, even when she's not flying with bravery, she's got 
her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snow Point Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. Sabi. Speaking of the devil, what in the heck? That's a child. Unless that's a woman that's four feet two. My clairvoyance, clairvoyance, I don't know. I'm sucker English. Told me that I'd be, I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi and let me focus on my workout while I still can. This man is still fucking teabagging the shit out of me. How the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Also, okay, something tells me I need sneeze, Sneezler. Oh, <laughs> literally right here. I got, they rely, the warden's a child. Hello, my name is Sabi. Nice to meet you, Wilkoon. There, I'm gonna be polite to a child. I heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want bravery's help so you can quell Avalok's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Okay, dude. Now we gotta play fucking tag with a child. <laughs> okay. Catch up to Sabi. Oh, wait. We're. Before I. Okay. All the way. What the fuck? You thought I wouldn't make it. You thought wrong, damn it. Wilkun. You made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? No, I'm cheating. I have a signal wherever you hide. That would be broken. If they made this a harder version, that signal would be gone. That would be absolutely dreadful. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? What? Whatever. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Look at me. I'm fucking freezing. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. Next stop of our merry chase is Snow Point Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm. Claire, boy, aunt. Okay, I was close. Let's go, bravery. Yo, bravery looks actually really good. Looks really good. Psychic flying. Weird typing, but... Like, it looks like it glows in the dark. Holy shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? I'll tell you one thing. We're gonna go for that wisp. No, no, don't you fucking dare kill me, Sneezler. There we go. Wait, did I miss it? Did I nice just see? Oh god, I messed it up, didn't I? Get this. And then I don't want to go down here. No, 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 no. A sneezer's freaking out. 
Sneeze lives at Ulu 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 Ulu. Okay. I am going to save. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's so. F that's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? I th I already forgot how you said it. I was I, clair clairvoyant. It showed me something else. I saw you flying with bravery. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Can I avoid you now? Well, however the future turns out, flying with bravery isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Oh, I don't want to. Gonna take us on? I wish I could say hang on. Sure. All right. Now get ready, because here come Rapier, McMortar, and Electro. <laughs> Alright, they all have one thing in common, and they're weak to ground type moves. There's one thing I have in common, I don't have much ground type moves. <laughs> Alright, I am going to strong style this Rapier. Hopefully we get rid of it. We probably won't, but... Oh my god, it's so close! Okay, we're gonna die here. That's fine. We're gonna die to this Rhyperior. Yep. Okay. We need to get rid of Rhyperior. We are so weak to ground type, it's not even funny. Until... Until we, uh... Uh-oh. Until we evolve our Ursa Luna or Ursa Ring, we're gonna be weak. Oh, fuck. Let me go one time. Can I get a chance to go? Am I just not gonna get a chance to go? Okay. Now I could go. I am gonna get rid of your ass mad quick. Because the rest are easy to take care of. Boom. Okay. Thank God. Alright, right here you're gone. Alright, I think next up is Mad Mortar. Magmortar will be a, 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 a pain in the ass. Um, I think, yeah, we go this. Because Sluggo could handle, well, actually Sluggo can't handle it. Oh my god, dude. Get the fuck off. Stop it. Alright, uh, I'm going to Agile style the Magmortar. Agile style Bulldoze. Oh wait, these guys are level 30. It was still didn't kill. Oh my god, I want Ursa Luna so bad. I want Ursa Luna so bad. I'm glad they gave Ursa Ring a, a final evolution. Ursa Ring was like one of those Pokemon that needed it, even though like, like it, Ursa, Ursa Ring looks so good, but like it really needed an evolution because it was just like underwhelming as a Pokemon and that evolution looks so good Ursula Luna looks pretty good I love the way Ursula Luna looks all right we leveled up as well some leveled up wow you caught us and you beat us you've won all our games so far but bravery still wants to get to know you even better up up to the roof we go oh you didn't even heal us you got Dang! I'm not gonna say it. I told Kyra I'll be nice. I told Kyra I will be nice. Uh, and actually, what am I doing? I could use these. Fine remedies. All right, so we know bravery is going to be psychic flying. So we're going to lead with our sluggo, sluggo, sluggo. Because if I'm not mistaken, they're going to fight us. She's going to fight us with uh, her freaking bravery. 
Alright, let's battle this thing. Oh, fuck. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh, fuck. I forgot to lead with the Pokemon I wanted to. Oh, no, I did. Okay. I was so busy. Naruto. 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 Whatever. Naruto. Naruto. out, as Kyra says it. Um. What are you talking about? I don't call Naruto a nine tail. I call him a Jinchuriki. <laughs> Alright, now we agile style Dragon Pulse. Uh oh. God damn it. Call him a brat. Okay, dude. Why are you so mean? Why are you so mean? We're, we're raising our defenses out here. Naruto was a beast, okay? Naruto was straight beasting. Um, yeah, you know what? Honestly, Kyra, I'm with you on this. Barto is obnoxious. If there's anyone obnoxious, it's Barto. No! No! What? No! 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 What's wrong with you? Uh oh! Uh oh! I think I die here. Okay, and now we finish this strong style dragon pulse. Sligo out here, dude. Sligo out here destroying things. Girl, I can't believe Bravery lost. But that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Bitch, what about... What about Bravery? She really out here like play tag. If you win, you get Bravery. Psych. You, I lost. I had a little runt. Better be kidding. I'm not playing nice anymore, Kyra. I'm sorry. This little porcelain, porcelain doll looking ass little punk better give me the thing I need to finish this game. <laughs> Joking or not. Look at me, still standing strong. Look at the clothes I'm wearing out here in the snow. True ninja form. Not caring whatever is going on. We got the sky plate. Sure, having Will Coon to fly around with should be fun for bravery. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? You know what this reminds me of? This whole concept reminds me of um, Pokemon Sun and Moon. You got the total Pokemon, which in here is frenzied Pokemon. And then you literally just, in your page, you put your writer, writing Pokemon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this before we head out. Or well, maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people of Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using Eternal Ice. I've heard how they are made with muscles like mine. It'll only be as moment's work. Man, forever teabagging. Man's got fucking... Hamstrings the size of fucking elephant feet. Now, there you have it. 
you truly wish to quell Avalok, then walk on the path lies before you. But know that Avalok will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Alright. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Wait, this is actually gonna be rough. I'm I'm done. I'm done, dude. Oh man. A few moments later. We just wanna bother you. It's like no I don't know how to explain what I feel. All I know is just know that it's like I feel awful. I feel awful when they, they, they just want to, they, they do everything, dude. And it gets irritating. This battle's already infuriating enough. <laughs> Honestly, the only thing I hate the most about this battle is those stupid icicle spears. Hello? Oh, there they go. <laughs> I thought this game broke. These stupid shit. Okay, you, you want to start in the middle? Well, they barely do any damage. Like, like, literally. From, see, this is what I mean. I'm literally moving my controller, and it's like, nah, I don't want to move. I literally got this controller. Dude, Nintendo's controllers be sucking sometimes. I don't understand. Like, their GameCube controllers were durable. Like, I literally have to start moving before I... I don't know if it's just the game movement speed or is my controller. I just, I feel like it's my controller. It being so slow on the delay. Now granted, I am looking at this like from a, uh, my monitor, so it goes to my TV first, I think. So, <laughs> in retrospect, I'm already getting a delay. Oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Hey, this, this, this fucking shit, I hate the most. I hate those fucking icicle things this thing is fucking huge holy shit get to halfway get to halfway yes yes sir half oh wait that started early that's right because we got it to half health We will do this. Okay, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, wheels, not yet. Now we I swear I think this Oh my goodness. Fuck, fuck.
It's level 56. I thought it was higher than that. Our Pokemon are just enough. Okay, here's the shit I hate the most. Because I have to pay attention to more than one thing. Uh oh. Alright, this is it. <laughs> I didn't want to lose a health there. Oh my god, this shit again. They're faster! Okay. Remember wheels? Okay. Oh my god, this controller reacted so slow there. I wanted to juke earlier. <laughs> that was too close. Uncomfortably close. We're so close. Okay, so this goes back to when he was half health. Yep. Alright, then he does the ice things. Okay. Oh my goodness, I hate it. Yo, controller, run! Controller, run! Go in the middle. We don't know which way he's coming shooting from. Okay, can we get him low here? Can we get him enough? I don't want to go this one more time. Get him, 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 get him! Yes! We did it! I only had to do one retry. I swear. Oh. Yes! Let's go! Let's find out. Oh, man. What in God's name? Will Coon. They thought it was over. How many Pokemon are we going to quell now? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Don't worry, I have the shining gun on my side. I'll figure it out. It's ominous, very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? Did they not see the sky? I can wait. There's more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of the strange lightning, lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into frenzy, it struck the night the wheel coon fell from the sky, did it not? It almost seemed natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Listen, don't look at me. Or what are you? Who or what are you really, wheel coon? I don't know. Indeed. You came from the rift. As did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? You think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? This bitch is crazy. Hold up. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? 
This motherfucker crazy. Now hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Will Kuhn has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Will Kuhn supposed to do then? He will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. He, has remained, he remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the Galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befall befalling our good people. No, until you restore the world to its rightful state and prove it your innocence beyond doubt. What in... What in God's name? We going camping. We going camping. How can you act so heartless? Do you believe in Will Kuhn? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. I will beat this guy's ass! I will beat this guy's ass, dude. Orders are orders. Wait, my crops! I just my crops! I can't get my crops! What just stops me from just like literally throwing my Pokemon down? Literally going to throw down. Literally. Uh, nothing stopped me from going away. What are you going to do away? Uh, I'm getting forced just because she yelled at me? This bitch was scared of a Wurmple. Of a Wurmple. What's she going to do when I throw, my, throw out my cleavor? Jack shit. Hey man. I hope you're enjoying your place. Listen, I was expelled. But you keep making pickles, damn it. Make them pickles be. Hey man. You take my name out of your take me my name out of your mouth. I saved your ass, B. Oh yeah? Who's the one to help you, damn it? <laughs> you know what, we're not friends after this, Jeff. I don't know if his name is Jeff, but... <laughs> it's only right that I should personally escort him from the village and to the Fieldlands camp. I'll see him off. Now I'll mark y'all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Wait, how am I supposed to go to the other ones? I guess I just fly there. Quell the frenzy nobles. Quite right. More, more, moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly, utterly intolerable, and I might, 
add absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You only, you only cause Will Kuhn more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Edith might take you in. Though I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could go try to f go try to go find a man first. He's likely to be at the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will show you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet both will you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is your choice only they can make. It's the is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. You know what? She ain't so bad. At least she follows us all the way here. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Well...